Looks like Deadpool 3 isn't going to be the only R-rated Marvel movie in the MCU. Marvel Studios had tongues wagging when they dropped the bombshell about a Blade reboot at San Diego Comic-Con in 2019. Mahershala Ali, the man with the plan, graced the stage alongside Kevin Feige, sealing the deal as the MCU's Daywalker. Since that announcement, though, we've had a pandemic, a voice cameo in Eternals, and a roller coaster of development for the Blade reboot. It's encountered its fair share of writer and director changes, and the latest twist is that Marvel is planning to keep the budget under the $100 million mark. Now, before you raise an eyebrow at that modest sum, here's what it means. We're in for a grounded, gritty take on the character, steering away from the big-budget extravaganzas that we often associate with Marvel. And it's not your typical MCU fare. Blade is going to be rated R. The move towards more mature content follows in the footsteps of Deadpool 3 and the TVMA rated Echo, signaling that Marvel Studios is exploring storytelling outside the realm of popcorn blockbusters. The R rating news should reassure fans who feared a watered down blade. Wesley Snipes' earlier films thrived on their darker tone and intense violence, and this reboot seems poised to follow that tradition. And I hope you don't have any dates scheduled because Blade is due to hit theaters on February 14th, 2025.